fellas, and we're back. This is the addendum to the brake flush procedure and upgrading to DOT4. Uh, now we're going to cover the clutch slave cylinder. Matthew is still up in the, in the cab there, and he's been doing all the pedal work for me. And here is our slave cylinder. Uh, again, you're going to need your 8 mil. So what we've done is we've done the same call and response method, push, holding, release, that, that call and response method that we just discussed and so I'm just attaching my tube onto the bleeder nipple there uh, and uh, we've done about uh, what do we do like 12 pumps down here I filled up the little reservoir for the clutch uh, twice and I cycled that through and so now what we're gonna do and we're gonna come on over here to our reservoir, you can see mine's drained down pretty good from our action there. Oh, geez, how low did we go? I better have a look at that. Get our fucking donut. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I am just on the line. I'm not sure if we sucked in air there. I might have had to do one pump more and we would have been down below the line. That was like right on the money. Okay, so I'm going to have to fill that up. And then right here, you just uh, follow the lines here, and look here. We got ourselves a little regulator valve, and we've got another bleeder for your convenience, right under the hood. So, I'm going to try and position the camera in a way that you can see while I do the work. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I might have to prop you up a little bit here. Let's see if that works. One day, boys, somebody's going to love me a lot and send me a camera. But for now, this is what we're working with. Why do I always apologize for the shit camera? Because it's a shit camera. All right. Hang tight, fellas. So we get our dot four and... Uh, our reservoir bottle here with our extra look at that yummy juice and what we're gonna do is just connect that hose right down onto the bleeder there now that one's a 10 mil instead of the eights that we've been using underneath the truck and it just so happens that I do not have a 10 mil handy yes I do I lie all right so I get my 10 mil on there get my hose on there make sure it's a nice snug fit as usual uh, top up my reservoir with the dot four which completely evades me Put it right there all right so you can kind of see my setup here I got my wrench on the end of the nipple got the tube going into the bottle down into the junk and now I got to top up this dot pour into the reservoir which is a pain in the ass it's so small of course if we didn't discuss that and you didn't know already dot three and dot four are corrosive and so that's why you see a lot of the times on the bottom of a vacuum booster if the master cylinder is leaking oh, of course just for the video I am pouring it all over the fucking place a four liter jug is not so easy to pour into that thing but all right, so now we're going to get ready to crack this open. And I'll just set my jug aside. Okay, ready on the clutch, buddy? Ready. All right, I just got to crack this. And push. Holding. And release. Release. Push. Holding. And release. Release. Push. Holding. Oh, see that air come out of there? That was fucking nasty. Maybe we did suck in a little air. And push. I'm holding it. Okay, release. My bad, my bad. And push. Holding. And release. And push. Holding. And release. And one more go. Push. Holding. And release. 
And so when you're doing the clutch slave, uh, when you're under the truck at the slave itself, uh, for the first like 10 pumps or so, uh, the pedal will stick to the floor. You just want your guy on the pedal to use his foot to pry the pedal back up. The spring will help it return at that point. And as we were doing the bleed up here, Matthew, the, the pedal was returning on its own, was it not? No, it's back to floor still. Right now it is? No, I've, I've used my toe to bring it back. Okay, so try giving it a few pushes right now. Yeah, it's springing back right now. Springing back by itself. Okay, yeah. that's exactly what we want. All right, fellas, there's a clutch uh, slave bleed and your second bleeder nipple. And we've now converted the whole, both systems over to DOT4. Not that we really needed to do it to the clutch. I just wanted to get a good bleed on that clutch anyways. Rubber side down, fellas. We'll catch you on the next one.